New report shows claims Australians are having trouble finding work in Britain are false. Claims Australians were being restricted from living and working in the UK were false with tough British government curbs and caps on working visa numbers having no impact on UK bosses' ability to hire the people they want. Changes to UK visa rules could see it become far more difficult for Australians to work in the UK. That's the finding of independent lobby group Migration Watch UK that a slammed as crying wolf claims on both sides of the equator that Britain's visa laws were discriminatory. In 2015, the Australian government launched an extraordinary attack on Westminster arguing newly introduced migration laws were harming Australian migration patterns and creating structural damage to the unique relationship between the two nations. It followed an equally highly charged Westminster debate in which the British government's own MPs questioned the legitimacy of any nation, having a Queen as head of state that does not afford them any migration and work privileges that under law are handed to European nations with no connection to the realm. The issue came with the 2011 creation of an annual cap on work permits for skilled workers wanting to enter the UK from outside the EU and other restrictions on Tier 2 general visas, the policies created a surge in support for Australia to become a republic. It also came amid revelations Australian migration to Britain almost halved from 40,000 in 1999 to 26,000 in 2011 with another 14% drop in the past four years. But Migration Watch UK yesterday said a study of the work permit curbs over the past five years saw virtually no impact on Australians' ability to work overseas, and in fact hundreds of places offered were actually not taken up. According to their report released yesterday, in the first three years of operation the cap did not bite at all, with just 54% of available certificates of sponsorship being used. In 2014-15, there were 20,087 certificates issued out of 20,700 available, while 235 certificates were returned due to non-use. It added that in the following year 22,037 certificates were issued, more than the cap, but almost 2,800 were returned unused or reclaimed. The business lobby have been crying wolf for years about the impact of the cap on business, but it has now become clear that the annual cap has never been breached, Vice Chairman of Migration Watch Alp Mehmet said. But Seamus Nevin head of employment and skills policy at the UK's Institute of Directors, said Migration Watch was missing the point. The Tier 2 visa cap isn't being broken because the restrictions are so high that employers are being prevented from applying in the first place, he said. The Tier 2 visa system is a prime example of how UK immigration policies are not fit for purpose. The current system for non-EU migrants is determined by 13 separate Acts of Parliament, as well as 10,000 pages of guidance relating to 1,400 categories of immigrants. He added that bosses had to answer 100 questions when applying for an employee's visa, and most application ran to an average 85 pages long before home office officials then have to run the application through 1300 pages of instructions leading to months of delays. A home office spokeswoman defended the tough immigration system as working in the nation's interests and ensuring employers look first to the UK resident labour market before recruiting from overseas.